Hello everyone, it's Deborah, and today we are going to do a fun little project and it involves um, cardboard, blue paper, if you don't have blue paper you might have blue paint and that would work as well. What you're going to do is you're going to glue the blue paper on to your cardboard. And you will also need various types of paper. I made some paper a couple weeks ago. I don't know if you saw that lesson, but uh, you could use some of your homemade paper. If you don't have homemade paper, colored paper of any kind, magazines, paper, uh, pictures from magazines, cards, very colorful cards. Old calendars will work as well. So, so I have prepared a board in advance just to kind of give you an idea on what to expect. All right, the blue paper I told you about, I used, and I also put a pair of some, um, some plastic wrap over it and it kind of gives it a little sheen. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. You don't need it by all means. You're going to need some white glue. You're going to put your glue in a cup and you are going to paint all the glue on your cardboard. If you don't have the sand, you can glue paper that looks like sand or your cardboard items, that kind of a thing, just so it's a different color than the water itself. So you're going to set your piece aside and while it's drying, if you need a little inspiration, perhaps you have a book about fish in the ocean or you know, you can always go online because it's full of all kinds of information. All right. So as you look through your book or on the internet, you are going to see there's an, a wide array of different fish out there. Look how colorful all of these fish are. All right. So once you get inspired by the kind of fish that you like, you could take some tracing paper if you wish, and you could trace the fish, but you are more than welcome to draw it out freehand. I went ahead and I did trace a few items with my tracing paper, such as this angel fish, excuse me, angel fish. I even have a flounder. Now I wonder, do you know what a flounder is? A flounder is a fish that likes to hang out at the bottom of the ocean. And flounders are pretty shy and they, um, they have a way to camouflage themselves. So you know what I thought? I thought, I want some flounders. So I went looking through my papers and I just happened to find a paper out of a magazine and it's camouflage paper because when you look at how it blends in to the sand, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I went ahead and I cut that paper out. And he kind of does. He's kind of camouflaged, isn't he? Which is what he wants to be. He doesn't want anybody to see him because he's pretty shy. So anyway, I went ahead and I cut out different shapes of fish and I used all different kinds of colors of paper. Again, I did these all in advance. I made some fish out of this fun paper. I just kept coming up with all these different types of paper and different kinds of fish. All right, so maybe you notice that I put a piece of foam in the back. By doing that, it kind of makes the fish pop out. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I get going on my project. All right, so I have prepared my fish in advance. Now, I just want to show you that this is the paper that I used for one of my fish and 
Do you notice how this one pops out more because I use my black marker? And you can you can put all kinds of shapes on your fish because fish have spots and stripes and sometimes even zigzags on them and dots as well. So I'm just going to do a few little lines on my fish in it. I found some wallpaper and I made an angelfish. I love this angelfish. Angelfish aren't real, real colorful, but a lot of fish that swim in the ocean are. I have a feeling the angelfish is kind of shy too, so it doesn't want to stick out that much. All right, so as you know, I prepared everything in advance and I'm just gonna place everything in front of me so I kind of get an idea on how I want to arrange my fish in the ocean. Of course, I'm using my glue gun today, but you can use your white glue as well. Just don't, you just have to wait until everything is dry before hanging up your artwork. Another thing I'm gonna to use today are some greens. If you don't have these plastic greens, you can always go outside and pick up some sticks. That would be nice because, you know, there's a lot of coral and that kind of thing in the ocean. This is going to represent seaweed. I even have some real coral. I really like this. And I have different kinds of shells. And I'm going to use all of those items as well. All right. Last but not least, we all know that fish are in the water and they blow bubbles. So I'm gonna use flat, clear marbles to represent bubbles that they are popping out. All right, I am going to go ahead and place my items before gluing them down in a way that I find really interesting. Seaweed, fish like to hide in seaweed too. And do you know what else? Fish also lay eggs, and they lay eggs in seaweed too, so the babies are hidden. So I'm even going to add some pretend eggs. They're just actually round shells, but they look like eggs to me, like little fish eggs. So I'm just going to kind of hide them in the seaweed. I also have some seahorses. And seahorses they like to cling on to the seaweed. So I'm going to add some seahorses to the seaweed as well. All right, I'm going to continue to find different ways in which to use my materials and my seaweed, my plastic plants, actually. All right, and I think I am going to Start gluing everything down. Oh, I've got some beautiful shells here. I've got to put those on. I lived in California for over 20 years, although I was born and raised in Iowa. I moved to California when I graduated from college. And I grew to love the ocean. And I loved picking up shells. That was something that I really enjoyed. And so a lot of these shells that I collected are actually going to be in my artwork. All right, let's see here. I think I am ready to glue. Voila! What do we have here? We've got some pretty happy fish swimming along in the ocean. There we go. I hope you enjoy this, and I think you're going to have a good time making it. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>